Recent reports reveal a troubling trend affecting nearly 100,000 lifetime ISA, that is Lisa, savers in the UK, who have been hit with a staggering £75 million in penalties for unauthorized withdrawals during the 2023-24 tax year. This figure marks a 30% increase from the previous year, with the average penalty for these withdrawals reaching around £755 per person. The Lisa was designed to assist first-time home buyers and those saving for retirement, but it appears that the penalties associated with early withdrawals are making it harder for savers to access their funds when they need them most. The Lisa allows individuals aged 18 to 39 to save up to £4,000 annually, with the government adding a 25% bonus on contributions. However, accessing these funds for reasons other than buying a first home, reaching the age of 60, or facing terminal illness incurs a 25% penalty. This harsh penalty not only forfeits the government bonus but also deducts from the saver's own contributions, creating an even more significant financial burden. Experts in the financial sector are calling for urgent reforms to the Lisa system. Rachel Griffin, a tax and financial planning expert at Quilter, emphasized that these figures highlight the ongoing struggle many individuals face between saving for the future and managing current living costs. She argues for reducing the withdrawal penalty from 25% to 20%, which would only reclaim the government bonus instead of impacting the saver's own money. This change could provide much-needed relief to those in financial distress. Helen Morrissey from Hargreaves Lansdowne also voiced concerns, pointing out that while leases have successfully helped many first-time buyers, nearly 57,000 in the last year, there's still a significant issue with the penalties. The data shows that almost 100,000 individuals were forced to make unauthorized withdrawals, highlighting the need for a more flexible and fair system. Consumer champion Martin Lewis has been vocal about these issues, advocating for changes that would better support savers who are compelled to withdraw their funds. He has previously suggested indexing the Lisa withdrawal limit to property prices, given that many first-time buyers now face homes that exceed the current £450,000 cap. Lewis's advocacy is critical, especially as more individuals find themselves grappling with financial pressures. As we reflect on these developments, it becomes clear that the lease's original intent, to encourage saving for homes and retirement, needs to be balanced with the realities of today's economic landscape. With many savers experiencing financial strain, it's crucial for policymakers to consider reforms that protect individuals who are doing their best to save while navigating a challenging financial environment. The current punitive measures only serve to deter saving and exacerbate existing financial difficulties. It's time for a thoughtful reassessment of the Lisa framework to ensure it serves its intended purpose without penalizing those who need access to their hard-earned savings. Stay subscribed for more videos.